Oprah, girl, you got one more time with me. I'm gonna have to cut you loose. You violate one more time and I'm done with you. Gail, bye, 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 bye girl. First of all, I don't care about you enough to give you another chance. This is Dee and this is the Come Up Straight Up. And uh, this channel is dedicated to hypergamy for women 40 and over. Well, you guys, I am back, back, back with a new video. And honey, this one is in, I'm having an emergency session because um, Gail King has um, recently done a uh, an interview with uh, Lisa Leslie and um, she mentioned a Kobe Bryant and um, allegations against him from way back when. Now this man has not even had a funeral yet. And you guys, I, I'm just tired, 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 tired of Gail and Oprah you know, disparaging black men while ignoring white men who are accused of similar things. So I'm not gonna have some big intro. I am going to get right into this. Today is Friday, February 7th. And yesterday, CBS uh, released excerpts from a, an, an interview that Gail King did with Lisa Leslie. Now, Lisa Leslie and uh, Kobe Bryant were very close friends and um, Gail asked Lisa about, among other things, um, the uh, sexual assault allegations um, against Kobe from way back when. And uh, when Lisa Leslie indicated that she did not believe it, that you know Kobe was a wonderful person and all of that, Gail King came back and said, well, how would you know? He was a friend of yours, so would you even know? I mean, this sent me off the rails when I saw this excerpt. Now today, Gail King, um, she released two, she posted two uh, Instagram videos saying, you know, that she was very upset with CBS because her comments about Kobe were taken out of context. Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm, I, I'm not buying that and she's not sliding with the taken out of context thing with me because you said the words. You know, her voice wasn't dubbed. She shouldn't have ever said those words, okay? And I am, you know, a lot of times we talk about a black men not supporting black women, and that is 100% true. But Oprah and Gail are examples of the opposite. Black women and not supporting black men. I'm not saying you support somebody who's wrong, but they're not giving equal time to white men and, and white men accused of similar crimes. And when you are a person like a Michael Jackson or, or really anyone who's prominent, just the mere accusation is enough to ruin your good name and your career. Case in point, Johnny Depp. Now Johnny Depp has been around for 25 years. We love Johnny Depp. He started, at least I love Johnny Depp. He started off with 21 Jump Street. He does all the uh, Pirate of the, of the Caribbean movies and tons of other movies. And I think a lot of people, I mean most people, you know, like Johnny Depp. A couple of years ago, um, he and his wife, um, now ex-wife Amber Heard, filed for divorce and she accused him of domestic violence. Johnny Depp, of course, denied the, the, these allegations and there has never been any proof of these allegations. He was never arrested. But by virtue of the, the accusations alone and the fact that, you know, she played the victim and, you know, she wanted to be the, the face of domestic violence, this man's good name and career have been deeply affected. Um, he was fired from the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, franchise and, um, you know, we've not seen Johnny Depp. His good name has been just ruined. <clears throat> we learned this week that not only is a Johnny Depp innocent of her allegations of abuse, that she is the abuser. 
and um, he did everything he can each time she had these violent outbursts, which is a, which was a lot, to diffuse the situation and left. He left. And she was furious with him because he didn't stay there and fight with her. Now, Johnny Depp is, a, you know, is suing her for, for defamation of character, and that's well and good. But nothing he does now will ever undo what she has done and the impact to his career and his coin. The point I'm trying to make is because I accuse you of something does not mean you are guilty. So let's examine some of the cases of prominent white men who are accused of you know, sexual misconduct. Now we all know that Oprah and Gail have done, you know, they've done stories and, you know, sort of sullied the name of Michael Jackson, you know, of course, R. Kelly, there've been all kinds of negative um, publicity and stories about him, Bill Cosby, Russell Simmons, and now Kobe Bryant. And for the record, I'm not saying all of these men are innocent. Um, Bill Cosby has been convicted and I believe all the, all the allegations against him are true. R. Kelly, maybe all of them aren't true, but enough of them are true to make his incarceration justified in my opinion. But there are other really, you know, there are other prominent cases that are equally deserving of, you know, the deep dive that Oprah and Gail have given these men and they've not done that. Case in point, you guys, I'm going to start off with one that you guys aren't even aware of the uh, details. And this is going to blow your mind. Case in point is Kevin Spacey. Now, Kevin Spacey is a two-time Academy Award winner. He won the Oscar for American Beauty and also Best Supporting Actor for The Usual Suspects. That is my movie. Y'all remember that movie? Kaiser Soze. Y'all remember Kaiser Soze? That is a badass movie. I love that movie. Kevin Spacey um, also starred in House of Cards on Netflix. Now, a couple of years ago, Kevin Spacey, first of all, he came out as gay during the time that he was um, accused of sexual misconduct by two men, one here in the United States and the other one in Norway. Now, Kevin Spacey is a, a famous actor. He is not some obscure person. And yet, all the just really weird events surrounding his cases have not been featured prominently in the media at all. Certainly not by Gail or Oprah. Case in point, do you guys realize that both of Kevin Spacey's accusers, the one here in the United States and the one in Norway, dropped dead. Both of them died before they went to court. Both of them. Now, I'm not a journalist, but to me, that is a worthy of a deeper dive. Now, I understand that you know, Harvey Weinstein, um, just by nature of the very scope of his accusations and the prominent women that he allegedly assaulted is something that would, you know, obviously feature very prominently by anyone. Same thing with Bill Cosby, just do uh, by virtue of who he, he is and the um, nature of his celebrity. I mean, his, you know, iconic celebrity. I get that. But if I were a journalist, the Kevin Spacey case would be right up there. Uh, because let's think about it, you guys. And, and before the record, I have to say this. I am not accusing Kevin Spacey of anything. I need to make that clear uh, because Kevin, baby, don't, don't be trying to sue me. I uh, know and trying to get my, my meager little coins, honey, it wouldn't even be worth the cost of your attorneys. But 
I just feel as if the Kevin Spacey case is very fascinating and both the media and someone like Gail and Oprah, if they're so, you know, into drilling down on these cases of sexual assault, sexual misconduct against celebrities, like they have slept on this one. Think about it, you guys. When do the accusers of two separate cases and two separate countries drop dead? And these are not old men. I'm trying to think of when this happens in like ordinary life. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is, let's say if you are testifying against like a gang, like in Chicago, uh, you are, you know, a lot of people don't want to testify because chances are there's a high probability that you could, you know, come up dead. Um, another thing I can think of is with like the mob, John Gotti and all that, you know, when people try to testify against them, a lot of them come up missing or, you know, find, found dead. Um, you know, when, when situations like that occur, the accusers are generally murdered. And once again, I am not accusing Kevin Spacey of anything, but statistically speaking, you guys, what are the odds of two cases and two countries where the accusers just die before they go to court? A case like that, I feel, is worthy of a deeper dive just because of those odds. And yet, I'm sure that 99% of you and 99% of America know nothing about this. And of course, it begs the question, why? Next example, Matt Lauer. Now, Matt Lauer was the host of the Today Show for, what, 20 years. He was on TV, um, you know, while you ate your breakfast eat, each morning for 20 years on the Today Show. About, what, three years ago, Matt Lauer was fired from the Today Show for um, sexual harassment. He was subsequently accused by um, another woman of, uh, you know, rape when, you know, of course he said it was consensual. So what has happened to Matt Lauer? Where is the deep dive on that case, Gail and Oprah? Matt Lauer, like Kevin Spacey, is very famous. This is the, these guys are not nobodies and these are not you know, small matters, and they are, the, these allegations are on the level of the R. Kelly's and the Bill Cosby the, the, and, the, and the Russell Sim Simmons. They really, truly are. And Matt Lauer, his um, allegations are so severe that he was actually terminated from his position. So where is the surviving Matt Lauer? Where is the surviving, you know, Kevin Spacey, where is the surviving Harvey Weinstein? Kobe Bryant, for them, for her to go there is just despicable to me. This man has died tragically, him and his daughter. And not that that should be a, a reason so much as during his life. Since all of that happened, you know, way back when, no one has brought it up since then. No one has said anything about this. Since Kobe has died, there have been just an outpouring of just positive things about him as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a role model, and obviously as an athlete. I have not heard anybody say anything bad about him except some random comedian and some, you know, Trump supporter. And you know what? That could be, that, that's to be expected of people like that. For somebody like Gail King, a black woman, to hit below the belt like this when it was completely unnecessary, I think is a blow and needs to be called out. Now, Oprah, I love me some Oprah, and I, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not ready to throw Oprah away just yet, but I really took exception to the whole Michael Jackson almost witch hunt. Me personally, 
y'all can say whatever you want to say about Michael Jackson, but I support him. And honestly, I, I don't believe those allegations against him. You guys can say whatever you want to in the comments. These are my personal feelings and nothing is going to change them. Um, I, I, and I, again, I take exception to allegations and um, char character excess assassinations against people who are not here to defend themselves. During all this time, since that you know, situation happened way back when you, Kobe, Kobe Bryant hasn't had any issues. You know, if you are a predator and a rapist and all that, you just don't stop. If that's who you are and that's how you are, that's who you are. It wouldn't have just been that, that one incident. There would have been other incidents, but there weren't. Gail and Oprah, shame on you. As black women, you should be more supportive of prominent black men. Not if they're guilty, I'm not saying that. But they should be given the benefit of the doubt. Particularly when men like Kevin Spacey and Matt Lauer are allowed to fade into the sunset. Oprah, girl, you got one more time with me. I'm gonna have to cut you loose. You got one more violation. You violate one more time, and I'm done with you. Gail, bye, 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 girl. First of all, I don't care about you enough to give you another chance. Secondly, what you did and even asking that question for me is absolutely unforgivable. You know, just like OJ, you go, uh, OJ was all good. He was a, a pillar of, you know, the white community. They loved OJ, the Jews, until something happened, right? Until he was accused of murder. And then all that went out the window. And who supported him? Who had his back? Black folks. And I think people sometimes like Oprah and Gail forget that. When they get into hot water and if something goes down and there is, you know, accusations are levied against them who's gonna have their back us at the end of the day you know and I'm not saying all the white people are gonna like turn their backs on them but we are the ones who will ultimately support them just like Bill Cosby we are the ones who ultimately supported him so Oprah and Gail need to remember on which side their bread is buttered because those two are in serious danger of, well, straight up looking like Uncle Tom's. Black people, we have to do better in supporting each other. And people with, a, with platforms like Gail and Oprah should be leading that charge. That is all I have to say on the subject. Please comment below. You know I love reading your comments and getting your feedback. So, till next time. Mwah.